Good morning. Welcome to Substitute Tuesday. Uh, this morning's uh, session is going to be on cooking with a slow cooker. First, we're going to talk a little bit about the different types of slow cookers and those that, that are on the market. And I'd like to start with the small version, which is the small anywhere from two and a half to three quart, which is for maybe if you're cooking for one or two. Uh, so small, small recipes for this particular one. And then we'll move on to the four quart, which is for a very small family. Um, maybe uh, if you have a family of four, this would be ideal for preparing uh, side dishes or for your entrees. And then the six quart cooker is excellent for a crowd or for a large family. Today's recipe is a marble lava cake in the slow cooker. So let's get ready uh, to put together our ingredients for our slow cooker cake today. First step in preparing our cake is that we want to uh, spray the inside of our liner, our crock pot, so that our cake doesn't stick to the edges. Okay, so we have that done. We'll put it back into our cooker. Okay, there we go. All right, and then our next step is to, is to mix the cake mix. And uh, today, uh, the cake batter, uh, I'm using a yellow cake mix. Um, you could use any type of uh, cake mix. Uh, this one we're going to do like a marble effect with our cake. A chocolate cake is an excellent. Uh, chocolate lava cake would be great. Uh, this is going to be more of a marble lava cake. Next step is preparing the cake batter and uh, I'm, I'm using a yellow cake mix. Could use a chocolate cake mix if you like. Um, and uh, I'm combining the cake mix with a third cup of oil. And then I'm going to add uh, a cup and two thirds water to our cake mix. Okay. And then I have three eggs that I want to use. And usually when I use eggs, I, use, I crack them one at a time and add them to the mix one at a time to make sure that I don't get shell uh, in my cake. So there's one. There's the second one. Okay. And, and our third. Okay. Sure, we get everything out into our cake. All right. Okay, and I'm going to give it a slight stir so we can kind of mix all the dry with the wet ingredients. And then um, the uh, portable mixer for a couple of minutes till the batter is uh, thoroughly mixed. Next step is pudding. I have a, a, a box of uh, instant pudding mix, and I'm going to add two cups of milk to the pudding mix. And uh, I'm using a substitute for, for whole milk. Th this is uh, evaporated milk, and I'm using the same amount as the recipe calls for whole. Makes it just a little bit lighter. Pudding mixture is now soft set, so we're going to add that to our cake batter, just on the top of, of our cake batter. The next step is I have two cups of chocolate chips. I'm using mini chocolate chips, and I'm just going to sprinkle those little mini chips uh, over the top of our pudding and cake batter, and then I'm ready to put the liner back into our slow cooker and put on the lid and we're going to uh, let it slow cook for about two to three hours uh, or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean and that way we'll know whether or not it is ready. Sometimes another way to tell would be if the cake is kind of coming uh, loose from the sides of the, of the uh, container. So enjoy and for more information Contact the University of Florida, IFAS Extension, Scambia County, Dorothy Lee, Family and Consumer Science Agent. Enjoy.